Good morning, friends. Valerie, pull that window thing for me. So myself and Valerie are careful. There you go. Well, it didn't go through. Oh gosh. Anyway, we cannot fix it, so we're just gonna move right along. So today we are both decorating for fall. So as I shared, Valerie started removing some of the decor piece on the bookshelf, so I will resume that. Um, so this is the green read that I purchased, and this one I did it myself, you guys. So I DIY this greenery myself. So it is a vase inside of a vase. So I did this. I share the whole process on Instagram. But what inspired this look is this expensive one. But this one is like real to the touch, you guys. It's so so soft. I love it. Versus this one is more crispy. <laughs> But obviously, I love the darker color of this one. But if you're looking for a real, like, real to the touch eye drangers, I highly recommend this one. It's actually flowers in the box, you guys. I was shocked when I received it, but the quality is outstanding. So, I will continue as the kids are having breakfast. Right here, I'll continue removing some of the decor at the very top. Some places that Valerie could not reach, and then we'll see where we go from there and by the way you guys i look a hot mess i have a migraine and yeah so i did not put on any makeup you guys know we're family here so yeah there is no hiding from that so yes just watch me do my thing There's nothing more exciting than the fall season. I love switching between season with a clean space. So highly recommend if you are switching up your seasonal decor that you take the extra time to deep clean. It's also a time to shop your home. I try to minimize the spending when it came to seasonal decor this year. So all these things that I'm currently using, like the stem, they're actually yellow um, before I had a thing for yellow. So I spray, spray painted it gold um, two years ago and I've been using it every single you know, fall season. I think it looks so good. So it's just all about repurposing some decor, spray paint things, you know, instead of going out and buying new thing each year. Don't take it. Take it. 
So I had had to ask them why it was kind of tilted so my floors are not level. So they have it has like this little uh, adjustment. So from here maybe you can see. So they adjust the front legs to meet the back legs. So from the side it looks tilted. But from the front is fine. So this is like a 72 inch. Yeah. Um, is concrete. And it's like that wax finish. I think I have to seal this if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, it's best. How it looks like. Don't take it personal. We just building. It's my season. They foundation. Make a name for generations, please, and make a and take a break or a little vacation and chase and blues away. Hey, hey. You always posting a pictures, trying to look like you're winning, or look like you always be working, soaking the moments you live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't ask. So fall season is my favorite time of the year and I know it's the time of the year as well where a lot of people might deal with depression, feeling alone because the nights are longer and the days are shorter and you know that cozy mood can trigger a few things. I know I deal with you know depression sometimes but I try to remind myself how blessed I am and also listen to either scripture or motivation speaker someone that uplift me follow social media content creator who are you know very uplifting so I just also wanted to remind you if you're going through a season like that just don't isolate yourself talk to someone I believe we live in a world where people are so easy judgmental that people tend to hide their feelings and what they're going through and I just want to encourage that God created all of us for to be there for one another, to uplift one another, and to stand up for one another. So you always have a friend in me if you ever need to talk, but don't isolate yourself if you're going through that season. Okay, you guys remember these pillows that I hauled, I think a couple months back from Amazon. They were actually too big. The answer was too small and the, and the pillow cover was too big, but I made it work. I just love taupe brown gold and also just like warmer colors during uh, fall time. You don't have to do traditional colors to get your house feeling cozy. Um, especially that I have very white walls. I feel like just contrasting between like, you know, those, you know, warmer tones uh, really helps set the mood for fall. So this is how my living room is looking like. I'm not going to stress too much. I went back and forth for these built-ins. Guys, it's not my strength. I think once we finally just update the built-in, I will feel more confident. Right now, I feel like I still get a Spanish style with that look. So moving on to the family room, um, Valerie was out there cleaning and also getting it ready for me. I love just even deep cleaning my sectional. So we did deep clean it the night before. I use my Uber, remove a few stains, things like that. When you have kids, lighter furniture, I love it, but it comes with a price. So I'm just adding these stems that I only haul. And also within the process of decorating, you guys will hear my vase from Target. First I'm using it, it cracked within the process. So 
I was struggling trying to make the stem work and I end up switching over to a, to a different vase but you guys first I'm using that vase from Target and you guys will hear it I left the clip there it was so bizarre we had it on the floor you'll see Valley reaction I walked away and it cracked for no no reason whatsoever so weird but yeah Moving right along, thank God baby girl was not hurt. We cleaned up within the process, vacuumed, and kept decorating. I love this pillow that I found at TJ Maxx uh, last year. You guys saw it last year when I shared my family room. And also, I'm decorating with these pumpkin pillows from Walmart. I have a couple from Walmart and also one from Pottery Barn and also one from tjmax.com last year. The one from Walmart are like $10 so it's a very nice way to decorate your family room and also like the console table. This area I really need to stay focused on because I don't love it. I still have wires showing but it's okay. My son's game, controller, all of that. If your kids use the Switch you know so this is how the family room is looking um, I love it I feel like it's so nice and warm and also decide to go ahead and decorate my new console table so I added this huge ginger jar that you guys saw me decorate with so many times and also these stems which I'm not such a big fan of because they have glitter so they're far more into Christmas but I made it work because I couldn't find all my stems you guys um, so I made it work and I also decided to use this book I love the tone and colors of this book it's very taupe you know black you know very nice so I end up using a book holder to make the space look nice and cozy so I hope you guys enjoyed this video give me your thoughts down below let me know what you like to see next I hope you guys enjoyed and I see you very soon in a brand new video bye guys Thank you.